long before weird shit like Adventure Time and the regular show, the only way you could get fucked up in the head watching TV was by watching weird shit like Freddy's Nightmares. Like with Tales from the Crypt, I didn't have much history with this show. It was a little bit before my time, but I did used to watch it on the Chiller Channel. I remember going through the guide one day, looking on the Chiller Channel and seeing some shit called Freddy's Nightmares. And the first thing that came to my mind was... Freddy had a TV show? That mean he was giving motherfuckers nightmares five days a week. Man, he must have had the Boogeyman schedule all the way fucked up. I always thought that'd be a cool ass ability too. You know, to enter people's dreams subconsciously. Like, wouldn't that be cool as shit? You probably really don't give a shit. But I can make you enter the dreams of Brian and Karen. This show was mainly about Freddy entering the dreams of young people. A lot of times Freddy appeared in the episodes, and in some he didn't. To go into Brian and Karen's story, we first have to realize that this show had a weird plot twist that you either had to be high, fucked, or Freddy himself to understand. It starts out with this kid Brian who works at his parents' burger shop in Springwood. Like any teenager working at a fast food restaurant, Brian wants to get the hell out of there. His high school pals like to fuck with him and visit him while he's grilling burgers filled with rat, chicken, cow, and preservatives. Ball and chain. Come on, your dad will let you off. Yeah, right. Okay, dude, it's your life. Brian also likes to daydream. And from experience, I can surely tell you, bubbling grease can make a major form of escapism when you're only getting paid seven twenty-five an hour. Come play. You're so handsome. After 30 seconds of ejaculation, this weird biking guy orders a number six by shooting Brian in the head. But the whole time we find out that Brian was dreaming. But then we get these weird dreams where Brian does way too much fucking heroin. Brian needs to go see Dr. Gertz. The metaphor we realize is that Brian's dream was actually a reality because he keeps getting terrified from the sounds of the killer's motorcycle and then blood dripping from his head. Then we find out he was really shot and he went to the hospital and so was his girlfriend Karen. Also, Freddy's transition to this next story is a whopping way to do so. Have it my way! <laughs> With a side of fries, three packs of ketchup, and a cherry icy? Of course it wouldn't be exactly your way. It would be much smaller. With mayonnaise all over the fucking wrappings. And like six dollars? We really find out that Karen has no idea what just happened. She wakes up out of a coma but then goes right back into one when she sees mummies rolling around in wheelchairs and this doctor and this freaky nurse. She wants to find out where Brian is, so she keeps hallucinating about stupid shit like the nurse and the doctor stitching her mouth closed based on a fear that she has of hospitals. Her fear came from when her parents died in that same hospital years prior. Then she imagines her own death and even goes as far as thinking about how they're going to amputate her organs by her being an organ donor. Rick. Come on in! <laughs> We're accepting body parts. Would you like to make a donation? No! You'll be fine. No! Once the morphine dies off, she finds out that Brian died, but her parents' ghosts return from the dead to haunt her. I mean, hey, that's my best guess. How else could you explain somebody coming up to you from the dead like this? No! You're both dead! No. 
Relax, honey. It's okay. It's just the medication. She's still hallucinating. Shock. No. It's all. Freddy used to creep me out with his conclusions too. Remember, we make house calls. Personally, I think this show was really underrated. I bet a lot of y'all didn't even know that show even existed, but it really did. Looking back on it, Freddy was in a lot of shit back in the day. He was in a lot of TV promotions, he had this TV show, he had the movies. He was a fucking marketing horror of the late 1980s. <laughs> Let me guess, but he had, did he have his own fucking video game too? I mean, he had fucking everything. He didn't have a video game. What? Next October. It's not even enough days left in the year for me to even fuck with that. Also, why did this show end so early? I mean, it only ran for like maybe two seasons until like 1990. And then they just stopped making episodes of it. I'm like, why? Like, that was fucking lame as shit. This show had everything you would need in a show. The content was there. The acting was good. It had a psychological thriller. Why the hell would you end it so damn early? That, that's fucking bullshit. I mean, this shit was like Game of Thrones level of like psychological thriller. It was fucking good. Like, why would they end it so damn early? I think we should trade some of this shit we got on TV today for Freddy's Nightmares. So let's see what's on TV. Let's see what we got here today. Oh no, no, no! <sighs> Damn. I really need to stop smoking. Oh, man. Let's see what's on TV. Come on.